All right, YouTubers. Here's the problem. Using Winchester 231, and I am trying to load 380 ACP. And I have my Lee Classic Turret Press. I've got their Pro Auto Disc, and I've got all the discs that come with it, but they no longer make the micro disc. So the smallest discs that they make are really too small. Correct that, too large for the load of powder that I need of 231 for 380 ACP. And believe it or not, 380 ACP right now, if you can even find on the store shelves, is one of the more expensive ammo to purchase. So I've been trying to reload my own 380 ACP and it's a pain in the neck to try to reload it and parts were hard to get. So here's an empty shell. Here is a Montana gold bullet that I bought and these are 95 grain uh, hollow point and they're the only ones I could really find on the market right now. I do have brass that I was able to buy, a uh, new brass from Midway, which was pretty good. Now, there are not a lot of information about loading for the 380 ACP 95 grain bullets. And these are full metal jacket, they're, they're gold, they're pretty nice looking bullets. And they load pretty nicely. The Lee manual calls for 2.9 grains of Winchester 231 as a starting dose. Now it's hard to measure 2.9 grains and you cannot use your Pro Auto Disc to do it because none of the discs will go down that low. Those of you who have the micro adjustable disc know that for a low powder throw like this the volume is no good. It just doesn't throw a good disc load of powder. Now, the other thing is Lee has dippers. The problem with the dippers is that none of them will throw exactly 2.9 grains. So then we come up with the problem, how does one easily do it? I have the perfect powder measure, which will, that'll work, but you know, it's kind of a pain to throw that. I also have a very nice scale. This is the Frankfurt Arsenal scale which works wonderfully. And I have the Lee balance scale which is also wonderful but a little clumsy to use. I have compared the Lee scale with the Frankfurt scale and I am comfortable with the readings I get on the Frankfurt scale. It is accurate to within a tenth of a grain. So I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Now the question is can one make a custom dipper? that will just produce 2.9 grains of Winchester 231. And I decided that the easiest way to do it was to start with a 380 shell. The old primer is still in place. And the shell, you don't have to do much as far as cleaning because the residue is not going to get into your powder. I soldered a fairly good sized copper wire to it at the base and then I put a label on the showing it's 2.9 grains of Winchester 231. Now the question is how accurate is this? Can you make it accurate? And what I did was I took a uh, resizing tool and sized that case down to about you can see how they compare the, the original to that and made it so that when leveled flat, it was going to hold 2.9 grains. Now, I'm only doing this with one hand, so you're going to have to believe me. The way you use a dipper is you don't dip the classic way. You put the dipper in, let it fill, then you use a card to sweep off the excess powder, and then you pour it into whatever you're going to pour it into. And in this case, it will be poured into funnel on top of my bullet uh, 
flaring die, which has the Lee powder through catcher. And uh, we just put a little funnel on top. And, you know, that works fairly fast. Now, I'm not going to show you the scale rings of this because I'm trying to do this all in one hand and it's sloppy to do. But I have calibrated this and it works very well. Now, maybe temperature changes are going to occur and, and it's not going to work well in the next batch of powder. But I'll tell you, these are pretty easy to make. You just take an old shell, leave the primer in, solder it on, grind it down, and keep testing it until you get just the right amount and you can customize it. Now the Lee stuff, when they do make their stuff, everything changes in about 0.3 cc's or so. So even when they buy the 17 different powder measure things that they have, they're going to differ so that you're always forced to use an in-between level. With this, you're going to use a constant level each time and I don't care how many cc's it is, all I care about is how much Winchester 231 powder measures out with each level scoop. Again, to do it, the way Lee says to do a scoop is you put it in, you let it fill, you take a card on top and flick off the excess and you're ready to pour it into your die, or if you feel like you want to measure it and weigh it, go ahead and do that. All works good. I hope this helps. 380 is kind of a pain to load because it's so small. Um, nine millimeter is easy to load compared to this because I can use my auto disc measure, and that's very accurate. I'm not. I check that about every tenth throw, but I have checked this little dipper that I make, and. It, it reads 2.9 or 3.0, 2.9, 3.0. It's within a tenth of a grain accurate every time. And I think it's more accurate than using the lead dippers, which are 0.3 cc's apart. Thanks for listening, and I hope this helps people who want to load 380.